longtime chair and vice chair of the Intel Committee, Senator Feinstein. Welcome back to the show. Thank you very much, Chuck. Uh, same question to you as I started off with Senator Collins as a member of the Intel Committee. I'll reference those quick graphics um, yesterday. But just at face value, and we know that the White House has tried to walk back both the KT McFarland email um, that seemed to imply that that they are as fact that the Russians did this, and of course the president apparently admitting to potentially obstructing justice. They've walked all those back. But do you look at that? What does that say to you, these two, even call them mistakes? Is it sort of uh, accidental admissions in your mind? Well, let me begin by saying this. Uh, as you know, I'm ranking on Judiciary, and the Judiciary Committee has an investigation going as well. Uh, and it involves obstruction of justice. And I think what we're beginning to see is the putting together of a case of obstruction of justice. I think we see this in the indictments, mm -hmm. the four indictments and pleas uh, that have just taken place in some of the comments that have, are being made. Uh, I see it in the hyperphonetic uh, attitude of the White House, the comments every day, the continual tweets, the, um, uh, and I, I see it most importantly in what happened uh, with the firing of uh, Director Comey, and it is my belief that that is directly because he did not agree uh, to lift the cloud mm -hmm. of the Russia investigation. That's obstruction of justice. You know, the president uh, a few times has insisted he's not under investigation. Is the president, everything you've seen now, the, 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 the deal with Flynn, does that mean that actually the president may now be, you just laid out the obstruction of justice case, that may, would mean, it would imply the president is now in, under investigation. He's a target. Well, I would assume that many in the White House are under investigation in this. Um, I would assume, you know, I do not believe that General Flynn was a rogue agent. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that on his own um, conclusion he would go out and try to tell the Russians in two instances, once uh, to uh, stop a national security resolution going through the United Nations regarding Israel, and on the sanctions that President Obama had just put in, urged that they not be tampered with by the Transition Committee, and that he would go in on his own and attempt to tamper with them, uh, with Russia. I just don't believe that. I think he had to have been directed. Now, whether uh, the special counsel can find that evidence or not, whether we can, I don't know yet. But I see that that's where this is going. All right, we have uh, uh, KT McFarlane, who was uh, for a short period of time Deputy National Security Advisor. She's now been nominated, I, I believe, to be Ambassador to Singapore. She has not been a person that has been a, a sort of, that has been publicly connected with this investigation. But I'm curious, if, has the Intel Committee interviewed her? No. Uh, no. The Intel Committee, I can't tell you. The Intel Committee, is, the staff has done more than 100 interviews. But has she, have in you judiciary. asked to have her to come before the committee? No, but we, the Democratic side, I right. can assure you, will, and I would hope that the Republican side would join in it. How, uh, how much does this Flynn cooperation deal, Senator Collins noted that you guys wanted Flynn to come before the Intel Committee? His lawyer uh, asserted Fifth Amendment uh, rights. Now, obviously, you want to ask him to come back, but Mueller obviously has priority over him. At Absolutely. This point. Does this? Does this? Obviously, it slows down your the Intel Committee's investigation. How much does it? Well, I don't really believe it does. Uh, I think the investigation that really has the clout mm -hmm. is Bob Mueller's investigation. He's got all the tools he needs, investigative and legal. Uh, to do what he needs to do. I think what we're seeing uh, is some of the fallout from that. And I think increasingly, hopefully, people are going to be more willing, without subpoena, to come and be interviewed and provide information. Uh, for example, Jared Kushner, um, both um, uh, Senator Grassley, our chairman, right. and myself, uh, we have sent a letter asking for information. He has agreed to give it. I think that's very important, and we will see what happened. I think there's no question but that he is a principal in this. Uh, I don't make any allegations because I don't know, but I think his testimony would be very important. There's a, a 
campaign ad that's running a lot in California and some on cable by somebody who may be an opponent of yours in a Senate race, a, a man by the name of Tom Sire. Let me play an excerpt of the ad. People in Congress and his own administration know that this president is a clear and present danger who's mentally unstable and armed with nuclear weapons, and they do nothing. There's been some implication here that he's... Uh, the, the ad's directed at you because you took a more cautionary note when asked about the idea of impeachment. Where are you on that? And is the obstruction of justice case that you laid out pretty um, succinctly earlier with me, is that an impeachable offense? Well, in the first place, I, I just told you, I happen to be ranking on judiciary, right. which means I'm the lead Democrat on this. I'm trying to be very careful as to what I say and what I do. Um, we uh, have to put together facts that are solid, mm -hmm. that are very close to evidence, if not evidence, and also draw some conclusions and possibly do some legislation. So this is a process that's ongoing. Now, I'm not without the powers of observation right. or seeing what's going on around me or watching the day-by-day uh, episodes go by. Uh, the concern rises with the day. Um, the concern about this White House the concern rises. About the president, your with concern it. about this president's ability to do the job rises by the day? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, I've been here for 25 years now. Um, there is a kind of instability, unpredictability. It's one issue after the other. We've got major problems in the world with our allies now, yeah. uh, in the Middle East, with North Korea. Um, it goes on and on. And I think that this president um, is just precipitating uh, more and more angst that's going to lead to serious discord. What did, when do you hit your enough is enough moment? Well, it, it happened about a month ago. And I can't give you any particular event, mm -hmm. but it happens, you know, those of us that are here so you think he understand should, you need to get out of how the White House functions. And as you begin to see, uh, one day it's one story, the next day it's another story, the third day it's another story. It's very concerning to get at the truth. So, it, I mean, you just said you've hit your point. Do you believe it's time to think about getting him out of office? I believe it's time for us to finish our investigation. Okay. And I don't want to bias any part of the investigation with premature thinking. Right. Uh, I think that's very important. Okay, Senator Feinstein, I'm going to have to leave it there. As always, I never have enough time for everything Thank I you. want to get to. Thank you. It's Thanks good to see you. On. Thank you it. very much. We'll be back in a moment.